Shalom Yesharallah. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line on the false side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amon per lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled My Doctrine Shall Drop as the Rain. You know, that's going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimon Shai. You know, and I'm going to start with the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 2. And it reads, My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. That's right. Now, when it says, My doctrine shall drop as the rain, that's talking about the Lord's word, you know being made manifesting in the earth. You see, because just as rain, when it rains, rain is everywhere. You know, so that's the same as the Lord's doctrine by way of his prophets, you know, prophesied uh, the downfall of America, you know, and teach repentance, you see. And the Lord's doctrine is being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth, man, because you have you know, GMS camps all over the world, you see. So it says, and doctrine, when you look it up, doctrine is uh, from the Hebrew word, lekwach, lekwach, which means learning, teaching, insight, so teachings, you know. So there's a correct teaching that will be displayed upon the earth by way of the Lord's prophets, you see. And I believe today, them are apostles, elders of Great Millstone, you see, and because it was prophecy that the Lord, when you read Jeremiah three fifteen, it reads, "And I will give you pastors according to my heart." Now, pastors is synonymous with the word prophet, you know. So the Lord said, "And I will give you pastors or prophets." According to my heart, according to his mind, to the Lord's mind. It says, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right, you know, and I believe wholeheartedly the more our apostles, elders of Great Millstone today. You know, which even our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, they learn from their uh, their teachers, man. You know, High Priest Ariyah, King Masha, uh, High Priest Jaikwab, you know. So they learn as well. You know, so because uh, Apostle Paul told Timothy that just as you learn from men, you have to teach others also. You see, and we go to Second Timothy two and two. It reads, I start at verse one. It says, "Be strong, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shabbat and the things that thou hast learned of me, and the things that thou hast heard of me." Among many witnesses, but which, what were the things that uh, Timothy heard from Apostle Paul? Among many witnesses, the doctrine, the word. You see, it says the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Right. So it is. So just as we were taught this truth, you know, if we're able, if you're able body, you're supposed to teach others also. You know, by going out on the highways and byways week in week out. You know, pushing the word and make your daily and making your daily sit downs, you know, because, you know, we are supposed to feed the sheep, you see. As Yahweh Shai told Peter, uh, John 21, and um, St. John 21, and verse, I start verse 15, it says, So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, which Peter was the head of the church after our Lord Yahweh Shai went back to the spiritual realm. 
you know, by way of the chariot, a chariot of Israel, a so-called UFO. Because you can read that in Acts, the first chapter, when our Lord Yahweh Shai was taken up by a chariot. You see, back to the spiritual world, with the heading for uh, sitting on the right hand of the heading for Yahweh. You know, as the scriptures say, it says, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, Feed my sheep. Right, and how you feed the sheep with the sheep is a nation of Israel. You feed the sheep with the word, you know, because we're supposed to devour this wisdom, you know. And once we devour this wisdom spiritually, you know, because it's a saying in the world, food for thought, you know. So once we de devour this wisdom spiritually, you're supposed to go out and feed others as well of what we have been um, eating. You see, which is the word. Uh, second Edges 8 and 4. And it reads, So answer I, I and said, Swallow then down on my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. That's right. So, you know, you're supposed to, you know, as a, as a, um, Ezekiel said, said eat, eat the whole roll. You know, so we have to digest this word spiritually and understand it. And go out and teach if you're able body, you know, because now all Israelite men, you know, have the spirit to teach. You know, some are some are just helpers and believers. But if you are able body, if you know you can teach the word, then you know you're commanded you're uh you're commanded to. See? So let's go back to um let's go to uh Sirach and Apocrypha chapter twenty four, verse thirty two. Also known as Ecclesiasticus, it reads, I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning. Yeah, because the word is the light. You see, it says, And will send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. Yeah, because, you know, by us having this doctrine, this prophecy, you know, because, you know, the Lord, as it says in Isaiah 46, Isaiah 46 and 10. It reads, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. So the Lord's counsel are his prophecies. Prophecies. You know, we're seeing a lot of upwards around the world, you know, upwards in France due to, to the high inflation, the cost of living crisis, you know. Um, you know, we're seeing uproars of the people in Iran, you know, over that uh, Iranian woman that got killed for not wearing her hijab, you know. And, you know, we're seeing, you know, Americans in Lo out here in L.A., Los Angeles, is protesting with the Iranians and in, um, in um, Germany, you know. So the Lord's prophecies are fulfilling, you know. Uh, you got the wars and rumors of wars you know america american troops are now on the ukraine soil you know so lord willing that uh escalates man because we understand that you know america is going to go to war with russia and iran and china you know according to biblical prophecy you know so lord willing the lord put the spirit on these edomites to you know heat it up man you know because we are ready to get up out of here See, see, see the love of many West and Cold, the the uh, su supply chain crisis, you know, the inflation, the the high rent rental costs, you know, here in America, you know, everything is going high, but the pay is staying the same, you know. So all these terms, you know, acquire quitting, you know, all these terms is all are um. 
ties down to prophecy, you see. And let's go back to, um, I read Sirach 24 and 32, 33 again, it says, I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy, which prophecy means to say before. You know, before the Lord had his prophecies come to pass, he revealed them unto his servants, the prophets. You know, it says, and leave it to all ages forever. Right. You know, so let's go to Habakkuk 2 and 14. It says, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory uh, of the Lord Yahweh, as the waters cover the sea. And that's happening right now, man. This truth is going to hyperdrive, man. This truth is being proclaimed to the gates of the nobles. You know, hence why you're seeing all these anti-Semitic, you know, uh, you know, a, a protests against Kanye West and Kyrie Irving, you know, because the uh, small hats, the people that's in our land today, the ones that dress all black, the Amalekites, according to the Bible, they are not the real people of the Lord. They are not the true Israelites, you know, because they fit none of the prophecies in the Bible, none of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, you see. So, you know, even though Esau is trying to suppress this truth, guess what? It's the more Esau oppresses his truth, the more and more it's going to expand. And we're seeing it, man, you know, because, you know, Jake, when Jake see, you know, their their idols, you know, the basketball players, their favorite basketball players and stuff come out and say things like that, their favorite rappers, that if they're part of the elect, you know, they're going to inquire of it, man. They're going to look more into it. And then that's how the Lord can have the believers to come in as well by using celebrities, man, which the Lord don't give a damn about these celebrities because they're wicked. But the Lord can use, the, uh, use them, use their voice, because they have a great um, influence in the earth, the celebrities. So the Lord can use them just to magnify his word more and more. So the believers can come in the truth, you see. And while Esau is suppressing it, he can't fight against it, you know. Because it says in 2 Corinthians 13, 8, it says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Yeah, so Esau can't do nothing against the truth, but before it. You know, so yeah, you can, you know, strike down channels, you can, you know, say these anti-Semitic views, which really is Shem, you know, because um, Shem was the son of Noah, you know, um, and Shem was a chosen line that the Israelites would descend from, you see, which would be us Israelites, you know, so... For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Yeah, so Esau can't do nothing against the truth, but before it, man. Because at the end of the day, he, he, it's like at the end of the day, he has to acknowledge the truth some way, somehow. You know, even though he doesn't want to come at us directly because he know he can't defeat us in the scriptures, man. You know, because the Lord has blessed us, you know, to uh, not be confounded, man. You see, Psalms 119. In 98, it's one of my favorite precepts. It says, Thou, through thy commandments, has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Yes, so the commandments, which is the word, you know, has made us, has made us wiser than our enemies, man. Now we know the seeking counsel of the wicked. Now we know their agendas, the, you know, the Rex 84, the Operation Cable Spicer, the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, what else? Gender 2030. You know, the... Uh, I can't think of it right now. I think it's Greenhouse Effect. Not a Greenhouse Effect, but... Uh, I forget what the term it's called. But, you know, we're not ignorant to the fact of Esau's agendas. You know? And that's why Yahweh Shai said, The gates of hell shall not prevail. You know, I just get that. You know, Matthew 16... Matthew 16 and verse, uh, see, uh, yep, Matthew 16 18. This is Yahweh Shah speaking to uh, Peter. It says, and I, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Because Peter was King David, you know, in the reincarnation. 
you know, and he was the head of the church, you know, just like King David is the head of the tabernacle of David, you know, because as Apostle Har, I mean, Apostle Har, but Apostle Bar always says, you can't have a tabernacle of David without King David, you see, it says, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, right, the gates of hell are the Edomites, you know, so they can't prevail against this truth. You know, just how this as in the ancient world, the Edomites didn't prevail against King David and his mighty men, you know, on a physical level. You know, so so the same thing applies in this in today's day in on a spiritual level. You know, Esau wasn't messing with us back then. The, the tabernacle of David, Lord, we are part of the tabernacle of David, the elect. And Esau's not messing with us now, you see. So, uh, let's go to, uh, you know, because Yahweh Shai, he's increasing more and more on the earth, man. Because Yahweh Shai, he is the word, the apostle, uh, John the Baptist, uh, said this. This is St. John 3 and 30, says he must increase, but I must decrease. Yeah, so, the more and more, you know, <clears throat> the more and more near we get to our Lord Yahweh Shai second coming, the more and more he, he has to increase and we got to decrease, man, because at the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about Yahweh Ba Shimon Shai and his will. You know, so at the end of the day, we got to push his word, be diligent, and be fervent in the spirit, man. You know, and I just end off on that last precept. You know, I pretty much made the point. But, you know, the Lord's doctrine is running down. It's dropping as rain, man. You know, this truth is everywhere. This truth is in every, you know, avenue of, uh, avenue of entertainment, you know. Because the Lord is making it manifest that this is the truth. You see? Second uh, Peter 1 to 10. You know, it's in every avenue of entertainment. You know, rather be the, the, uh, the, the music world, you know, the R&B, you know, hip-hop, entertainment, you know, these... Uh, uh, NBA players, NFL players, movie stars, you know, this truth is everywhere, man. Uh, this is 2 Peter 1 and 10 says, Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall, right? So that's what we have to do. You know, we have to give diligence to make our calling and election sure, because if we stay diligent, we're never going to fall, as long as the Lord has the Spirit upon us to be diligent. You see, so we got to keep a team to push the gospel, man. You know, being an evangelist, you know, you know, preaching the gospel, repentance, the downfall of our enemies, the downfall of America, the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, and the upliftment of the Israelites, the elect, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the great deliverance. He's going to, when he make his second return, to deliver the elect from the ICBM missiles. You know, when the missiles destroy America, battle on the great according to biblical prophecy. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just want to make a quick lesson on that. And, uh, until next time, Shalom.